This is a U-Base, U-Base, an upright 32-inch scale U-Base. It's got a hollow body here. Then we have the furniture apparatus down there with your typical end pin. And it comes with its own base, which you can take it out of the base. I just don't have enough room in here. And play it like normal if you want to. And that end pin is adjustable, so you can lift it up, lower it down, you know. So what we have here is a uh, uh, Myrtle and Myrtle on the front. We have a fur, white fur core piece that goes around the outside. We have some Spanish cedar here and Japanese paper on top of poplar down there. The fretboard is, is walnut and the neck is maple with the scarped head. It has your standard U-Base componentry, which is a, a little preamp here, and then the batteries are down here, which are those two little CR batteries like you put into a tuner. And when you take the plug out, it shuts off automatically. It also has a tuner on here, so when you turn the tuner on, it goes quiet and you can tune in your privacy with uh, base middle treble controls and a overall volume and this thing can can get really loud um, it has a lot of a lot of power it's amazing how simple and effective this device is because there's a piezo under the bridge it's a height adjustable bridge and there's a lot of elaborate expensive versions of this for acoustic guitars and they're all basically the same thing and they all work really well now the strings were the big deal with something like this because the u-bass is designed at 22 inch scale this is 32 inches the strings on the u-bass the nice rubber strings which i prefer they work up to about 25 inch scale they've gotten better over the years so they'll go to 25 they will not go to 32 i tried they just keep just continue to stretch and stretch and stretch and you can't get it up to tune so what i have on here are actually standard upright bass um synthetic gut strings they're really meant for the rockabilly guys that hammer on them and so they can take a beating they're like uh, I think Kevlar and something else, Teflon maybe, but they're, they feel just like very smooth, upright strings, and they get the job done. So, there you have it, number 463, a stamp in there somewhere, and it's the, my first attempt at a U-Base upright, there will be more to come.